Uh, hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe, and uh, we're going to take a quick look at Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. Uh, Final Fantasy IV, The After Years is actually a direct sequel to the original Final Fantasy IV. Uh, these games originally appeared as uh, mobile games. And were uh, later converted to the uh, DS. And then uh, iOS and Droid. And now finally as the PC. Uh, each of these games takes anywhere from uh, two to four hours to complete. Once you uh, finish everyone's tale, uh, then you get a final episode where you uh, see the sequel's stories all wrapped up into one. So, the first tale is uh, Seodor's tale. Uh, this Seodor is the uh, son of uh, Cecil and Rosa from the original Final Fantasy IV. Um, so, let's take a look, shall we? Seodor, the crown prince of Baron, defies his mother's wishes and joins the illustrious Red Wings to prove his prowess as a knight. But when the Red Wings are destroyed by an enemy ambush, Seodor alone must set out to save all he loves with the aid of a hooded stranger. Long ago, this blue planet was saved by the prayers of an entire people. Two moons became one anew, and time inexorably marched on. The day of departure has arrived for the heir of the Holy Paladin. In the skies above the airship, two moons rise listlessly, one ominously growing ever larger. Why has this dark harbinger returned? A new destiny has begun to unfold, and yet, as always, the crystals shed only their silent light. Seedor's Tale, The Last of the Red Wings Captain Biggs. The Adamant Isle is in sight. Very good. You don't look well, Prince Theodore. Prince of Baron, Theodore Harvey. Harvey, huh? I didn't know his last name. Wow. I can tell you're nervous about this. After all, it's your first deployment. Try talking with some of the other soldiers to take your mind off matters. Your father, King Cecil, or Cecil, <laughs> achieved knighthood by passing this trial himself. Do you know that he actually served as a captain of the Red Wings before he became king? The Adamant Isle looks peaceful enough at first glance, I'll give you that. But there's this grotto there, a holy land of sorts. All night trainees train there at least once. The Red Wings are the pride of Baron, the most elite of our king's kingdom's forces. We, not, may, we may not be at war, but our training regiment is as fierce and grueling as always. We are currently on our way to the Adamant Isle, a very small landmass in the middle of the ocean. It is the staging ground for your initiation initiation trial in becoming a knight, my lord. It goes without saying, of course, how overjoyed your father, Cecil, is to see you finally taking on this task. Monsters don't play favorites. Royal to your peasants. They aren't picky about their prey. It's just as true for us Red Wings, too, I suppose. You may be the Crown Prince of Baron, but it means nothing here on this ship. How are you feeling now, my lord? Better? I suppose so. I can certainly understand what you're going through, my lord. But considering your bloodline, there's nothing for you to be worried about. My bloodline? Yes, my lord. You have inherited the blood of two great heroes. King Cecil, the Paladin, and Queen Rosa, the White Mage. That 
doesn't mean anything. I'm just another soldier being tested for knighthood. Don't kid yourself, boy. You're no you're no soldier yet. You're nothing but a squire. Joining the Red Wings isn't the easy lark it was back in King Cecil's day. I know that. That's why I'm here today, to Prince Sidor! You've got a lot to learn, boy. Starting with how to keep that mouth of yours shut. Ready to touch down on the Adamant Isle, Captain. Good. All hands. Landing stations. Red Wing. Everybody has long hair, huh? Here's our stop, Theodore. The Adamant Isle. You are to report to the village of Mithril up ahead and await further orders. Got it? Yes, sir. Can't hear you. Say like say it like you mean it, boy. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Hmm. Sorry as ever before. Mithril. Now, before this game was uh, remade into the uh, DS, uh, the original game used the same engine as the Super Nintendo. So this game might look familiar to you, uh, except you, you might have seen it as the uh, original Super Nintendo graphic style. Uh, that same version was also available on the original Wii in WiiWare, uh, which is where I first bought it. Uh, you know, but what the heck, I, I buy it again anyway. <laughs> <laughs> on another platform because it's been remade in uh you know early 3d your mission in this trial is to obtain the king's emblem housed deep inside adamant isle grotto but there is one condition boy you can't enter the grotto until the moon is at fuller is at its fullest you best get yourself ready poor then mentally and physically is there a reason why i have to wait for the full moon sir ha ah, you still don't know about that either this is going to be a long day, I'll tell you that. The light from the moon casts its effects upon all creatures of our blue planet. No monster can escape from its influence, and neither can you, Prince Theodore. Black magic, white magic, even physical attacks are all affected by the phase of the moon. But remember this, the moon cycles between phases with the passage of time, my lord. You will need to adjust your battle tactics with the current phase to survive out the field. And what happens during a full moon? Black magic becomes stronger, but physical attacks are half as powerful. White magic is unaffected. So our, so our swords become a liability during a full moon? Not necessarily. Our attack power is halved, but that applies to the monsters as well. What's more, my lord, you are gifted with white magic from King Queen Rosa. If your tactics match the current moon phase, then you will never be at a true disadvantage in battle. Now then, perhaps we could stay at the end until the full moon arrives. Or we'll do some little exploring. Yeah. Remember, you can save anywhere you want on the field map. That'll come in handy someday, believe me. In dungeons, though, you're only allowed to save at special save points you'll find. Uh, the Final Fantasy IV universe is still my favorite Final Fantasy universe. Uh, I don't think that'll ever change. Uh, partly because of nostalgia, and uh, also partly because it's just a great, great cast. Oh my, Prince Theodore Baron. We don't have very much here, but please make yourself at home.
There was another guy who took the night trial once. Someone with the same eyes as yours. But that was ages ago. The Red Wings are Baron's most elite flight airship fleet, right? I thought that was one heck of an airship there. But no wonder, huh? We wouldn't have had this period of peace without the selfless efforts of King Cecil and Queen Rosa. a little bit more. Press M to run, and bam, it's done. Press M to run, and bam, it's done. Press M to run, and bam, it's done. All together now. Press M to run, and bam, it's done. Don't ever forget it, man. Uh, of course, if you're using a controller, then you just push on the analog control stick, and there you go, running. Maybe it's because there's only one moon again, but tectonic activity has made the island a lot larger. Not that it's much compared to the compared to the big continents, of course. Mm, found a whole tent in there. That's magic, you know. Would you help our boss find his ring? Hey, hey, we're the Mithril Brothers, and we're ready to rock, baby. Uh, we would be anyway, if I hadn't lost my precious ring. Maybe I dropped it while I was resting in the tall grass. Uh, again, it's um, not advanced 3D, obviously. I mean, it was really meant for the DS. Uh, but it is kind of nice to see things in 3D. Fighting is fine and all, but sometimes the best way to survive is to turn, tail, and run. To flee, just push um during battle. Of course, there are certain enemies to, from whom you can't flee, so watch it. Some magic can be cast on your whole party, or on a whole group of enemies at once. There are several ways to go about doing this. Try pressing the target all button in the lower left of the screen. You can also target all allies or enemies by pressing right and left while a party member or enemy is selected. Left and right toggles between enemies and allies when applicable. I hear the guy who lives in the grotto has a hobby out of uh, has made a hobby out of collecting rare tales. Welcome. Ah, what do you got for us? Uh, potion, phoenix down. Phoenix down. Always need that crap. <laughs> I cannot go playing a Final Fantasy game and not having any Phoenix down. Ah, well, if I want a weapon, though, I'm kind of ass out. Huh? Yeah. Oh, well. King Cecil is a great man, wouldn't you agree? And his queen, Rosa. Oh, such a kind, beautiful woman. How I envy that king. Man, what a pig. Uh, oh, he really is a pig, though. Are you the guy from Baron who's here to become a knight and everything? The grotto is home to some fearsome monsters. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. When the gauge next to someone's name is filled up in battle, that means that character's turn is coming up next. When you, But you still got options, of course. If another party member's gauge is also full, try pressing tab. You'll let the other party member take their turn first. Uh, obviously, that's something new <laughs> in Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy, of course, uh, the original Final Fantasy IV, you uh, simply waited your turn, and uh, that was it. Uh, no matter whose gauge filled up first, Whoever filled their gauge up first in the turn order uh, was where the turn order took place. Uh, here, you can skip the uh, order of who takes their turns uh, if they uh, have their gauges full. So it can come in pretty handy if you want the healer to work first. Or if you want to uh, cast some uh, supplementary magic. Instead of casting attack magic. Or uh, any other combination of situations which you might find yourself into. 
Uh, the moon phase is also uh, new for Final, the Final Fantasy IV world. Uh, so different phases of the moon will affect your attacks differently. Sometimes your magic's stronger, sometimes your attacks are stronger, sometimes your uh, white magic and black magic are stronger and weaker. Um, so it really depends and hinges the uh, battle up quite a bit. Hey, hey, this is my ring. You actually found this for me? Thanks a bunch, man. I feel like a new pig. Here's a little something extra for finding the ring. Go ahead, take it. 500 gale, yay. Let's go buy some stuff. Buying stuff is good. Oh, oh let's make sure. 450. That's what I have, apparently. Ah, let's see. Ooh, up 21, but down on my range. But it's a longsword. Of course it's down on range. Uh, since this game is shorter in content, uh, what you'll end up doing is, of course, making up for that content uh, by grinding. Unfortunately, this game is about grinding. So uh, you're going to find ourselves grinding quite a bit. Uh, even with the, uh, you know, two to four hour span it takes to finish each episode. We'll still have to do some grinding in order to get through the game. Start learning how to follow orders, boy. I told you to wait until the food mo until the full moon. Yeah, let's go wait then. Welcome. Will you be staying with us tonight, sir? Yes, I will. Captain Biggs is waiting for you at the Gardo. Please hurry. Did I feel asleep? Uh, whoops. Let's save right here. Boing. is awful loud, isn't it? Um, yeah, we'll turn it down to medium. We'll leave the sound effects high, though. And uh, I'm super tired. I am actually starting to see all the text kind of blur together. <laughs> uh, but uh, but we're definitely going to play more through this. In fact, I'd, I'd want to get all the way through all the episodes. I think at some point in time I got stuck on the WiiWare version. Uh, so it'd be nice to kind of come back to it and uh, hopefully finish the game out. Uh, anyway, this is Autopost Free. Uh, you have been watching uh, just a tiny little bit of Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. Uh, this version is the uh, PC version, uh, but you could also pick it up for your uh, mobile phone devices on your uh, DS, although that may be a little hard to find because it's a little rare or on the original Wii's WiiWare Shop. Now, uh, bear in mind, even though the content is the same on the uh, original mobile phone implementation and the WiiWare version, uh, the graphics in the original versions are in the Super Nintendo style uh, 2D, while the uh, newer iOS and Android versions, along with the 3DS version and uh, this version on PC, is the uh, newer 3D remake. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you soon at the very next stream. Thanks.